don't touch anything. <laughs> it's the greatest find yet. Nothing compares to it. But it's definitely something you should hear. This is The Real Deal with Larry Lawton. Welcome to The Real Deal with me, Larry Lawton. We got a great show today. I am in sunny South Florida. Uh, not really. Uh, we are actually, Nick and I are down in the Fort Lauderdale, Florida area. We had cigar meetings and uh, we had to do this podcast in the rain on the whole thing. And I'll tell you what, it's pretty, first of all, we're at a, a great park. I want to, uh, great parks in South Florida. This is T.Y. Park. I will not try to pronounce the park's name. It's, uh, I'll try it. You want me to? Topakiki Noji means uh, uh, all of gathering or something in the Seminole uh, uh, Indian language. So, But we are at the park, and, you know, we are, man, believe it or not, it's not that late. It's about 5 o'clock at night, and look at it. It's dree, dree. But what a beautiful park, really, isn't it, uh, Nick? You like this Oh, place? it's, yeah. Reminds me of Forest Park. Uh, I don't without know. the RVs. Forest Park is what? It's uh, where the zoo is held in St. Louis. It's oh, St. Louis. Uh, they, are they known for a good zoo? Yeah, we we I think we have one of the better zoos, and and it's free. You don't have to pay for it. Not not at all. No. Wow, you know you, you know something else I didn't know about Missouri. You got me going. That it actually they have no tolls. Yes. Yeah, I was tweaking about the tolls the other day, and you're like, they're just tolls. Man. Yeah, I pay tolls out the ying. I was like, I don't, <laughs> know. I, I don't know what a toll is. And he doesn't understand like highway tolls, fast pass lane tolls, or anything like that. But it is pouring out. As I was say, it started coming down. And this is pretty cool though. We are outside. We thought we'd do this David. podcast. David. Oh, no. Listen, you know, listen. I feel like them. Place. We're on site. Oh, we're going to do We're going to have a lot of fun. it's raining. It is raining outside. Uh, look, he's the news weatherman. Back to you. And David. <laughs> David Muir on ABC News. I watched that in there. You know, the war correspondent or, the, or the, uh, Rob Marciano. And we got a thunderstorm. And he's out in the middle of a hurricane. And he goes, it's and raining. David. <laughs> it's windy David out. Watt. David Watt. Tell me what. And then David. they sit there like this for like 10 seconds looking like an idiot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Thanks, anyway, Cheryl. I, I will I really tell you one thing. It. What I did learn is these weathermen must be pissed off. They don't get paid shit compared to what the oh, anger Oh, they are. Paid. They walk in that building pissed. Oh, we yeah. were doing some research on. And they got Cornell, you know, oh. you know weather meteorologist degrees and all this oh, shit. Oh, yeah. They went to college. <laughs> <laughs> Not the other guy, you know, who went to the local radio station yeah. like me. <laughs> Anyway, guys, first of all, I want to thank my sponsor, Oliva Cigar. Man, they are with us the whole way around. They are the best. We have a couple more other sponsors I'm talking to, and they have to align with what we do, although we ain't doing them, Nick. You know what I mean? I mean yeah, you're not very hell, uh, very well known for behaving. So. No, it's not about behaving, no, I Nick. Know, I, know, it's, I, know. It's, it's, I have to really believe in a product or something to do it, obviously. Crooked Diamond Cigars, everybody, and our, our starter packs are out. The lighters are out. Look at this stuff. In a hurricane. Is that wild, man? That's wild. It's working. I hope the camera picked it up. Uh, we don't know. But anyway, we're going to be talking about a great subject today. You know, we, we, we've been watching. We've been inside because we had to be. We couldn't even barbecue or anything today. We went to a meeting, got that meeting done about 1 o'clock. Then we said, ah, uh, we were going to do something. In, and we wanted to get out of that RV. So we decided to do this. But we got to watch some YouTube things. And, of course... You know, this is holiday season. First of all, I want to wish everybody, first of all, if I missed it, a happy Thanksgiving. I know that's way late. And really, a happy holiday season. It's not about Christmas, Hanukkah, or whatever they are. I could care less. Listen, holiday season is about being festive and, and, and stuff of that nature. And it's about people making money in stores. Florida <laughs> is not very festive. No, you don't you know, see a lot of Santas and. Well, there's not much snow. Uh, Where does Santa come in on a sleigh in Florida? You know about the, like, the donation collectors who like, stand oh, they're outside? Oh, they're, they're, they're here. Yeah, the okay. guys, are, I want to wring their neck, I get sick and tired of them. <laughs> and, you know, I give up, and they get me for a buck or two every time I'm walking in out. Yeah. And I just feel guilty. I just gave one a, a store ago, and I got to give another no, one. Oh, to the other side. I, yeah. I just paid your other side, dude. And I'm, I'm okay, doing man. the exit, and now you're guilting me again. But you know, listen, I always give to a lot of things. When I can't even afford it, I give stuff to, to people who can't. You know, I always say this, and I mean this, everybody. There's always somebody worse off than you. Don't ever believe there isn't, uh, no matter where you are. As a man who was in the worst places in the country, in the whole, listen, during holidays, everything. And I'll tell you what, there, was, there were men worse off than me. You know, and, and that really opened my eyes Did to Did you a lot guys of get festive? 
You know, when I first went to like prison. Hanukkah? I feel no, like there's a lot of Hanukkah. No, Hanukkah, no? prison. No, Are Jews don't go to jail. Well, I heard that. Uh, <laughs> they get away with it. No, I heard a lot of people <laughs> I'm can convert. convert. I'm okay. hey, hey, the Jewish people go through a lot with this Hamas crap. So it's still, listen, uh, I want a big shout out to Ukraine too. And all they, uh, let's not forget everything going on around the world and how lucky we really are in this country. I don't say anything about religion. We are lucky and maybe very fortunate to live in a great country we live in. But we are going to be talking today. You know, I, I wanted to do this with Nick. I wanted to do this show. And, and you guys know the way we do it. This is the real deal. So you're going to catch it live. I started researching scams during Christmas time. And, you know, what really got me upset with it, and I'm not upset, is I know my uh, aunt, who's 96. Uh, her and her uh, daughter, who's my cousin, uh, she, uh, Carolyn, she was, she's my age. Maybe, you know, no, she's exactly my age. We were both born in 1961. And they both got scammed. And you know how they got scammed, Nick? They got scammed with the AI thing, with the voice recognition. Oh, the AI? You know, with the voice yeah. recognition. Now, I'm going to go over some scams with you guys. I want you. And listen, I know most of you guys in my audience are young. I really do. But please, you have elderly parents. You have elderly grandparents. Keep an eye on them, man. I really mean that. I mean, I have my mom. You all know that I take care of my mom. And Nick, isn't it funny? Because she gets scammed. I hate to say really. And Nick. She, yeah, me too. Right? She gets Takes scammed care of me a lot, too. man. It, it, huh? Right, my mom. Did. Oh yeah, she'll get scammed by church notes. Oh, she believes. Oh, oh, it's from the uh, the sisters of the crippled knees. And, and then she, you know, I want to break their knees. And then she gets nervous about text messages, like scam texts. Oh, she's like, somebody's texting me. They want this, this, and this. Uh, can I get my card? Larry's like, no, you cannot get your card. I'm no. sorry. They all want her card. Oh, just it won't cost you anything now. Uh, then we find out, you know, she's on a list. How much was uh, Debbie went up there? To oh, the church. Six, that, oh no, that was uh, three or four thousand. Three thousand dollars. Yeah, having old ladies pay for a school uh, for an You're Orlando sure. diocese, and we live in in Brevard County, which is on the west coast. I mean, the east coast of Florida, a long way from the Orlando, but it's the same diocese, whatever they want to call that crap. Anyway, listen, I'm not getting into religion. If you're religion, good for you. Whatever it takes for you to get by, whatever it takes for your own beliefs, I believe everybody has the right to, to do and have uh, uh, believe and do whatever they want. Listen, as a libertarian, and I am, uh, listen, you do you. I don't care what that is, and I don't look a judge or anything. You know that, Nick, really. Yeah. Uh, now, we're going to wa- go over a couple of things now I wanted to do. First of all, this is cool as heck. I really mean this. We are out. We got a ra- lake behind us. We went for a walk. I'm trying to get in shape, back, back shape. Uh, Nick, don't laugh. What? Don't laugh. What? Don't you freaking laugh. I was laughing at the He's ducks. laughing because he says the I look bloated. There. What employee tells their employer you look bloated? I'm just looking out for you. That's all. You let me know out there, guys. And then he said, I, 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 You comment, and I'm going to. I'm a. What I <laughs> said was, put your shoulders up. Yeah, well. See. That's what I said. This is the body. And then ready he for, said oh, the word bloated. Logan Paul knockout. Okay. We're going to do top holiday scams. You know? Okay. What do you think of the top? Give me the top five holiday scams. Me. Uh, I'd say maybe gift cards. Uh, maybe. Like scams not Fake as in. gift cards is in it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then I would say nothing like robbing somebody. No, right? not like, like what I scam, did. Scam, scam. That's not a scam. Oh, okay. That's, a, that's um, a professional. I would say maybe fake sites. Like going to fake websites. Uh, I'm gonna call that a social media scam. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or fake websites. They actually have fake websites on it. Oh. And social media scam. Same thing. Um. Right. And one more. One more. Let's go with. Can we do donations? Missing packages. You know, like when they deliver to your door, the porch thieves. Oh, that's like robbing, though. Yeah, but that's, that's like robbing that, that, something. They're scams because they're waiting for packages to come. They wait out. Yeah. Front. They I was still to. Th- think that's just stealing something. Uh, well, they also do, uh, uh, they send packages to someone, and then they always send it back, or you're going to get uh, in trouble by not uh, sending it back, or you're going to get charged the whole thing. Here's another oh, number I like I the just UPS scams I've been getting, text messages that my oh. UPS package is at the, the station oh, and yeah. needs another fee being paid. Yeah, oh, it's like, so I don't use UPS, funny, I'm man. sorry. We get these, these scams, and I laugh at them, I really do, because all the scams are... Uh, Oh, click here, because you got, oh, the, you oh, know, they got that big one for Geek Squad. Oh, yeah. The Geek Squad's still going on. 
You know, you, you, you have a $400 yearly geek squad thing. If you want to renew it, just don't do anything. I think if we you, want, your mom's like, I think we want a car. Oh, oh yeah, my mother thinks we want a car. <laughs> Larry, you got to check this out. We want a car. Yeah, she, she, you should have seen when I first got there. I won so many things. I said, you want to come up with me and you can get the car? No, you can have the car, she says to me. You can have the car. I don't want to go. I don't want the car, Mom. I don't want the car. <laughs> but, I, I'm and, not signing up I'm that car. <laughs> I'm not signing up. So anyway, these scams, I'll tell you what's sad. Uh, most people who get scammed, Nick, are 70 years old and plus. More men than women get oh, scammed. Really? Yes, yes. That that was a little bit of a shocker. And, you know, when I look at uh, at this whole day for statistics and stuff like that on, on the scams, it's like, here's what's happened. Technology's gotten better, obviously. Here's what really kind of baffles me. We know. We were watching, what's his name? Um, the YouTube. Mark. Uh, Mark Rob. Uh, Rob the, Marks. The, Rob the, Marks or something like that. He's uh, a, an, uh, an MIT a, or no, a NASA, a NASA, NASA engineer. engineer. He helped he has, Mr. Beast plant all the trees. Yeah, and he has a great YouTube channel. He does a lot of stuff like this. Oh, yeah. Well, they really went after, and a lot of these scammers are literally companies out of India. Uh, now, listen, like he said, and I believe the, the India, India people don't like these people. So we're not judging India, India itself, of course, but it's, it's like, come on, man, with the government, you know, try to step up and do something. Because, you know, it's just like when, when you get swatted. Somebody like myself or somebody gets swatted. You know, it's done from out of the country a lot of times. They can't do anything about it. And I get it. I get technology. How do you do it? How do you stop oh, it? Oh, they can't not stop swatting. The only thing I think that they can do is if you are big enough, if you move, you got to call your local police department. Oh, we do that them, now. We actually do that. Yeah, tell them, hey, like, if you get a, a crazy call at this address, you better call me first. Matter of fact, uh, uh, I spoke to a lawyer after I got swatted, and the lawyer said exactly that. Now you're on a list, Larry. Yeah. So they get, you know, because they, 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 at one forty in the morning, they were coming to my house. Yeah. And if I wasn't up literally putting together a, a bar, uh, who knows what would happen? Because if you jump in on me in my house... It's over. I mean, you know me. I'll, I'll go crazy. You know that. I mean, he tries That's to wake way. me up from a nap, and oh, he's yeah. scared to come in the room. Hey, uh, but I now, stand at the edge of the door. I'm like, Larry. <laughs> Larry. <laughs> let, hey. me, let me give a couple of good hints to people who won. First, I want to do a couple of things to help a few people. First of all, shoppers, just shoppers. Uh, if you go to a mall and you leave that mall, first of all, please don't go alone. Uh, go with a girlfriend. Go with a friend. Go with a couple of people. Uh, numbers always help. Scammers don't like to see more people. If they see one person carrying a bunch of package or, or a cart back to the cart, they will follow you to your car and attack or get you when you go in the car. Yeah. So first off, get off your phone. Uh, pay attention to your surroundings. People walk. I watch people walk right into a fountain once. Take your headphones off. Headphones Take off. Take your headphones off. <laughs> no, it's amazing. You know, <laughs> all malls offer, offer a walk security yeah. to your car. Uh, so that's one day if you really feel like that. But besides that, if you, if you get to your car in a lighted area, get as close as you can, you look at your surroundings, you get in your car, you start your car, and you leave. Do not can sit I, there and check your phone. Can I guess where this is going after this? Here's go what ahead. I would say. Once you leave, go home with all the gifts and put them away. Don't go to the grocery store. And, no, I wasn't and, going there. But don't go to the grocery store with your seven thousand dollars worth of gifts you just bought, and then go shopping for food. I do that. <laughs> don't. Okay. Don't do that. No. What I what I try to tell they will people run the in first your car I wasn't and going take that deep. What I was going with is scammers will watch you go to your car and they'll wait for you in the car, literally to start checking your phone, your heads down, and they have those things that they get break glass with a little pop. You know, in, in there. The porcelain things? Yeah, the thing, it just breaks the glass of a car, and then they grab whatever's in there, or, or you're in shock. They either put a gun or a knife to your face, and then they take whatever you got. When I was riding bikes, I thought about buying, like, a, a sack of porcelain throwables. So just in case anybody... Uh, porcelain throwables? throwables? They're like these shards of porcelain that you could just kind of throw out a window. It'd kind of be in, like, uh, a, a, like a defensive... Young, um, old, smart... No, I'm not. He's I never not bought him. By any chance, I never right? bought him. But let me, let me keep going for help. So first thing, ladies and gentlemen, is listen, I don't care if a man alone, I don't care how tough you are to get in your car and you're not going to beat a gun. I am, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> what I want you to do is 
get in your car, start your car, and leave. If you need to check your phone that bad, you go to the other end of the parking lot, make sure you're not followed, you know, go go uh, three, four hundred yards away, because then if somebody did follow you, waited behind a car, they, they're not there, you'd see somebody follow you. And obviously, if somebody is following you, go right to a lighted area and call 911. But... That's one of the things I talk about with shoppers. That's shoppers. Now, that's physical shoppers. That's one of the most uh, important. It, pay attention, man. Just have some common sense. A lot take, of people take those gifts home. Just take them home. He's right. But it's not even just taking them home. Even when you get home, yeah. you know, people know that you're out. Maybe you're a single mom or you're a single person. People watch when you come in, and if you got a boatload of gifts in a car and you don't have a garage, a PSA podcast. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. I'm giving good info. You know how I am. And, and what happens is they think, oh, okay, and they get to their house. They think they're safe. Someone knows it's Christmas time. They walk to the car, house, bring in three gifts. They leave the car open. Goodbye. I mean, that's opportunist. I was one. We used to get stolen cars that way, you know, to, to use during thefts. So, please, just pay attention to your surroundings. Get home. Get secure. I'm not trying to make anybody scared or panic. There, I'm the least person. Uh, David. Like David. <laughs> back, back, back to you, to you. David. No, they don't even say back to you. <laughs> uh, and now the war is, is ongoing. David, hey, David, oh, I was going nuts on that. The other <laughs> you were pissed. I was you pissed. Were pissed. Well, anyway, now let me keep going, guys. And then so, I was like, let me play some Taylor Swift and calm you down. Oh, well, <laughs> don't, don't get me off on that yet. <laughs> First of all, let me get the scammers done. Now we're going to go to online. Online. I'm a shopper online. I'm an Amazon shopper. I love Amazon because if anything's stolen, uh, I do a lot of business on, on Amazon, so they're pretty good with me. But even if they're not, they are very good with most people. And, uh, you know, listen, know the person you're with. I'm a member. Obviously, you get the, the quick uh, delivery and stuff like that. Well, what are you doing, Nick? I just wanted to see. Uh, you don't have to see. Get, get your own pad. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so, okay. anyway, uh, that's very important to me uh, is uh, get to, first of all, get to a reputable site. Like Nick said, top four is fake websites. They have make websites. You will type in Sears, let's say. You're looking for a washer dryer. And you will think you typed it in. It could be a, a letter off, a one thing. A di- and it might say, you know, online sales team. And they might have an I somewhere. You'll never get it, really. It's very hard. And it's not that website. And it will look exactly. They mirror it. That's what they do. And all of a sudden, that payment is non. You got it. You call Sears. They go, I never got a payment. And sure enough, it's already gone. You know, you, it happened too quick. Because by the time you don't get the gift, the bank already gave the money up. And now, yes, there is ways to get it back. First of all, here's a very good tip. Always pay with a credit card. A credit card. Uh, because it's easy to get your money back. You can, you can refute a charge on a credit card a lot easier than you can refute a charge on any other card you have. That's number one. Number two, so this is online. Online scams of you getting online. Listen, if you ever get a phone call about anything you bought or did anything, they have these, uh, uh, like they call them, uh, uh, what are they, uh, that they track you? Cookies. They'll put a cookie on you for something, you know, get in the back end on a, a, another email and know that you just bought something from a website. Call you and say, hey, this is customer service for blah, blah, blah. Hang up and look online and get the real number because it'll be close. And, you know, they shouldn't be calling you. And if they did, it's legit. That's one thing. But make sure you do your own due diligence. And still, don't give your social security number out, please. Don't give your information. Oh, uh, yeah, we need your social security number, date of birth, your mother's first or name. The, you want a <laughs> cruise. I'm going to need your social security number. And, uh, and $250 you better, and you in front be- of taxes. And you better respond on the phone call or, or you just didn't win. Oh, if you oh, don't respond oh, on this um, phone call. What scams they have. So, uh, on those kind of scams. Oh, speaking of scams, uh, your boy Pac-Man Dev just got a... Got uh, picked up. You know the scammer? That was. Oh, is that the yeah, guy online. that was. Is that the guy who was online yeah. and was scamming I people? I think he got cards? picked up for a gun, though. Did he I get still, picked up for a scam? No, I still think well, he's really good. Uh, maybe a week ago. Oh, we got to look at that. But I think up. it's I like a gun up. charge. I don't well, think he got picked up for scamming. That was uh, irrelevant. I mean, that wasn't anything to do with I'm just. No, it was 100%. He's a scammer online. Yeah, but he got picked one. up. That's like me I'm getting just picked saying up he for got a murder. Up. I, I'm, a, I'm a jewel robber. <laughs> I'm hey. I'm, no, I'm not. That, not Canada, but I'm just, anyway, let me go. Here we are. So common scams is the advance fee scam. And let me tell you what advance fee scams are. Anytime they tell you you want something, like Nick just said, a cruise 
or a uh, dinner for two or uh, whatever. I don't care, vacation package. But you have to go pay uh, ninety-seven fifty for the taxes. Looks good. Everything's good. Scam. <laughs> Scam. <laughs> Make sure, guys, that you uh, don't get caught in those. That they call advance. Anything that has an advance fee scam is a scam. Because good companies don't do that, number one. Though you can pay when you get there. You can do a lot of things. They don't make you pay right then and there. That's not a, oh, You're not winning phone. something, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. So second one is a tech support scams. That was the Geek Squad one. Yeah. You know, everybody has tech. And, you know, you get so frustrated with tech. I, uh, oh, let me call this one. Well, we have one of my good fans. Is, uh, uh, his name is Nick also. You know, Big Nick. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Great guy. He's up in Florida. He went through the hurricane. He was on one of my podcasts. Great guy. See, we are in a park that's away from everybody. I told Nick we're oh. going to a place, a deserted area, uh, in the middle of Hollywood, Florida, at a T.Y. Park. Yeah, it's it's for maybe someone in New York. It's deserted. We've got a train that runs every thirty minutes, honks I its horn. It. And then there's an export center that I, it's like making and producing steel. There's semis oh, coming in and out. Chi- that's Alibaba. <laughs> that's a, that's a they're, satellite they're warehouse, out. Alibaba. <laughs> and then you leave the park. And you can go to McDonald's, oh, yeah, the, yeah, right the strip the club, the bars. Strip club too. We are right. in the middle of a city. Okay, it's tech just a, support. It's just a park. Tech support scam. <laughs> so don't fall for those. There's guys. more than two trees. Again, call back. Now listen. Here's the key with tech support scams. They will send you an email. Do not. And I'm going to repeat this. Do not hit on any link in that thing, no matter what. There is ways to check it. I'm going to show you how. Larry tells me this every day. Well, you know, my brother. I'm hey, like, I got the email. It. I get it. Click. <laughs> I mean, yo, bro, you just got your identity. Well, what I didn't get when I first started sending out, like, um, advertising emails for you, I was sending uh, Attachments. And then attachments. I was like, why are we not getting any hits? It's because they're not stupid either, and they right. don't want to touch no, Nobody any opens links. a link yeah. if they don't know where it's coming from, uh, and you shouldn't either. And here's how you check links. If you run your mouse over that highlighted or that underlined with the blue area, uh, you will uh, be able, the link will pop up. You can literally read that link, and a lot of times they'll put it in code. Sometimes they're too lazy. Uh, it's on, Nick. What are you doing? And, and it's, well, you know, it's the real deal. Nick's just playing. He has to do that. So he, he feels like he's doing something. Come on, you're doing this. So anyway... Nick, and, and you can put your, your, your mouse over that link. It'll pop up, and you can read it. And believe it, some of them are so, you know, John John Sanihu in India, and you know, whatever it is, and, and they don't even go that deep because they have enough people. And here's what I just heard today on, on, online. Uh, they'll send out 500 of them. They'll get maybe 30 hits and about that is a crazy three, conversion to, rate. three to five people will be oh. scammed. So it's, it's, it's a numbers game, guys, and, and don't be one of those numbers. So that is those scams. Don't, don't get anything with tech support or anything that comes to your email. Don't click on it. Listen, if Larry sends you a link, make sure it's from Larry, not somebody who says he's a, from the Crooked Diamond or he's from a reality check program or the YouTube channel. I have a few emails, and uh, I get scammed so many times. It's amazing. Okay, next one, phishing. And it's not F I S H I N G. It's P H. I was like, what? <laughs> Did you know that? No. You keep cutting in and out. Oh. Just make sure you're wire. I don't know. All right. Am I still cutting it out or not? I would hold it up like. Maybe. All right. Know. Nick. No, maybe. I don't know. It's kind of like. How's that? Better? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Uh, is it good? Uh, it looks like you just got the voice box too. Oh, okay. So yeah. it wasn't. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, guys. Sorry. So, uh, yes, Nick, let's get this going. Well, Tech I mean, is nice, but an overdoing it is not, not good. Okay, well, All when right. you cut out fishing every people. second. You know what fishing is? Explain to people what fishing is. Um, when you throw out a scam? I don't know. When you, you really don't know bite? or you're messing with me. No, I really don't know. I have okay, no idea. Fishing is, is the word is spelled P-H, uh, I-S, uh, I-S-H-I-N-G. And it is, it's pronounced fishing. Didn't you and just say you just learned this today? No, I knew what phishing was. Always knew oh, what phishing was. Uh, okay. Phishing is when they're really putting out a hook for people to click on a link. And really, that's exactly what phishing is. Exactly what I is. just said. So, uh, <laughs> please, stop Throwing that. a line out waiting for Number a bite. Number four, emergency scams. Here's the scam that got my, my aunt. help me. Okay, no, yeah. no. Now, my, uh, my cousin, my cousin's daughter. So, my, my aunt 
her grand granddaughter. Literally, listen to this, people. I got to congratulate her. Uh, she is a commander in the Navy. This is a woman. In She's the actually, Navy. In the, let me get serious. Uh, first of all, thank her for her service. She's a commander in the a, a commander. That's three bars. One below a captain, a full bird, in the Navy, and she has her own ship, like a 700-foot ship. She's the CO of. Oh, shoot. Yeah, oh, exactly. Anyway, she was, she's overseas a lot. She's away, and they're very close with their grandmother. Now, my, my, my uh, uncle died, and he, they were married 74 years, I think it was. They were both in their 90s, and they, they married after World War II, 1948, I think it was. So, uh, anyway, they were married 74 years. He died in 2022. And amazing. But anyway, so she gets a phone call, and she swore it sounded like her granddaughter. Now, listen to this. The mother got on the phone. Her mother was there, my age. She swore it was her daughter. And they said, we'll give you a few minutes to talk to her. She says, I'm in jail. I, it's nothing bad. It's something that happened overseas. I didn't have my passport with me, but I need $500, $900, no, it was fi- up to $1,500, I think it was, to get out, and I'll give you the money when I get back, and it'll all be taken care of by the Navy, Grandma, blah, blah, blah. But I don't know. I can't get hold of Mom. Mom was there, actually. You know, so now she gets on the phone, and they scam the mother. She, they both said to me, Larry, I swear to you, it sounded exactly like uh, the daughter, you know, exactly like her. And, uh, of course, we know phishing scam, uh, not, uh, voice AI scams are very common, especially someone like myself because I have a lot of audio online. You know what I mean? There's a lot of my audio. They could put together a lot. They did one on Joe Rogan. It was unbelievable. Did you see that one? Yeah, I see the ones with Biden and Trump. See the one? No, I mean, what, like a, 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 a supplement. No, yeah, that, that one and the one with Steve Harvey. That one's on YouTube. They did, they're doing one right now with Steve Harvey promoting some cr- crazy scam. I'm like, anyone, I would hope anyone would know that this is not Steve well, Harvey. Well, you, you know, listen this. to me. You know, what happens is, again, And I'm it's like, a YouTube game, needs though. to crack down on this because it's a scam on, it's a YouTube ad. You, know, you can totally why I, tell it's not Steve Harvey. You know Harvey. why I get mad at that? I get demonetized for saying the word whatever. One word. And, and, oh, you prick. Anyway, I, I, I see, Nick, you better, you better take that out. Somebody's talking to your bitch. <laughs> I was, yeah, I, I get uh, uh, demonetized for a lot of things. I guess I'm not, I guess, politically correct. I, you know who I love? Shane Gillis. Me and Shane Gillis got to have a talk about that. Anyway, please watch out for that. And, again, if you're young, please watch your old, older, older people. Tell your grandparents. Tell the people the older. They'll try to get everybody. And it's not their... Listen, don't get mad at people either. My mother got scammed for an air conditioner once for six grand. And that was a door scam. They came to her door, didn't they? Yes, they did. Yeah. And, and you know. And they looked her in the eyes and scammed her. Well, I mean, listen, you know, they, it's easy to scam somebody. And they want to be independent. The elderly people want to stay independent. That's yeah. what it is, Nick. Yeah. And, and Oh, they don't want to bother that. me with yeah. it. You know, I tell her, no, you're bothering me. You're done, Ma. Done. You know that. Jack Nick helps out own. a lot with my mom, and I got to give a lot of credit for that. Yeah. Thank you, Nick. On that, she loves yeah, you too. She's great. And uh, she still has her own checkbook, right? Yeah, but, but believe See, that's that's the paperwork. She I said, since my mom won't watch this, what we do is let her write the checks, and I rip them up sometimes when I leave. <laughs> but and then we tell her <laughs> she bought this. a new cross oh, for the church. Stop it, Nick. <laughs> this is what we tell and my mom. It was mom. a big cross. You guys are gonna like this. This is what we tell my mom. She'll go, you know, I didn't get this check back. It's been three months. I go, Mom, I told you the government is cracking down on these. These companies are going out of business, so just check it off. Scams, It's because I ripped the checks up. <laughs> anyway, please watch your elderly elderly relatives or, or neighbors. And, and, you know, if you want to do something good for the holidays, if you don't do anything and you don't have money, because it's not about money, it really isn't, if you got an older neighbor, if you got an older person uh, in your neighborhood, check in on them and maybe talk to them. They'll love it. You don't want any from them, of course, but check up on them, man. You'll be doing a good thing for somebody. I really mean that. I love that because I, I can't stand when people, uh, even I, listen, when I rob people, I, you know the story about me with the two older people came into the store. Check back up on them a month later. No, Better not have told. No, <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> didn't even cuff them up. Uh, anyway, I was really nice. Uh, like, leave the lights alone. It looks beautiful. All right. Yeah, so that's the emergency better. scams, please. Here's a scam you're going to love. IRS 
or government imposter scams. Oh, yeah. The government called FBI, I mean, FBI, IRS. You will go to prison if you don't pay this. <laughs> are not calling you and threatening you to go to prison tomorrow or you will be arrested or your account will be go to foreclosure if you don't go to Walgreens and buy gift cards. 50 gift, gift cards, cards <laughs> and send them to the... Please, people, believe it or not, people get scammed this way. And, you know, I look at that as a... Uh, I really, you know, I don't look at people say, hey, look at this stupid. I really don't. I, I Listen, I'm older. There's a lot I don't know about gaming and a lot of, you know, I learned it. I, I have that kind of capacity. But a lot of people don't. Look at my brother. He couldn't even start a computer. He said, I said, just push enter. He got pissed off at me. Oh. He got pissed. See, now, see, we're in the deserted area again. Oh, yeah. I don't think you can hear it. Oh, wow. Yeah. The train just went by. But anyway, Nick, yeah, he's, that's because he's a good mics and good roadcaster. But anyway, Nick, uh, it's uh, some people like my brother who's only 63. He's a little he older pissed. than me. He got I'm 62. Off. I said push space. He's ah, 63. Ah, starts going to, uh, and, you know, he, some people are just tech, tech savvy. David. Some aren't. David? Oh, don't get me on that, David. <laughs> okay. So the IRS is not calling you and not shutting you down and not doing any of that. Just for that bullshit. They're or not gonna or do they are, and you better watch out. Listen, so. the IRS is not calling you saying, tomorrow, if you don't have this thing, you are going to jail. No, they're just going to come and get you. They're going to put you in jail. <laughs> <laughs> it was the FBI that going to do that. And they're going to come with a helicopter. They, they put you under the jail. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> get me on that one. The uh, No, they're going to come with a helicopter. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Foreign money exchange scam. That's a good one. Uh, it's amazing because I, you know, I take uh, for our cigars and stuff. We take money from all over the world, so we have an exchange. So they'll call you and say uh, that rate is way too high. If you hear, we'll we'll save you money on a rate. Before you know it, you give them access to your account. Woo! Gone. At, you know, and that's foreign exchange scams, and they're common now because the world. We are in a world economy. Let me let everybody know that we are not in a a, a local or regional economy anymore this is world economy a lot of people don't understand how the economy works <laughs> listen one country goes down we're not getting parts of oil just look at your oil prices i mean that alone will show you about how we're in a world economy but you know who helps please, the economy who taylor swift <laughs> we're gonna get to taylor swift i love taylor i'm a swifty i am a big swifty if i found out that she look are you gonna get me off on this she gave each one of her truck drivers on the Eros tour, a hundred thousand dollar bonus. It was crazy. Think of that. There were fifty of them. That's five million dollars she gave away, and that she gave fifty-five million dollars in bonuses for the Eros tour. Don't get me wrong. The Eros tour was also the the biggest uh, grossing tour of all time. Taylor Swift became a billionaire from it. He'll be she made about her. she made at least four hundred fifty dollars each 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 event. Fifty. <laughs> are you? Oh yeah. <laughs> no, uh, she was making what? Fifteen hundred nope, a second. Twelve hundred a second. Fifty dollars per second. A second. Yeah, think that crazy. But anyway, uh, we're gonna get to Taylor Swift here in a minute. I'm gonna get this counterfeit yeah, we were. cashier's checks. You know, this was big when I was younger. Uh, cashier's checks. We used to. We used to also do. You guys know. You ever hear what a money order is? Yeah. No money orders. Yeah. Uh, we I would hope everybody. What we used to do, and I, I, again, I want everybody to be emphasized here. This was when I was a bad guy, and I'm not a bad guy anymore. So when I was a bad guy, we used to rob travel agencies. Now, when you rob a travel agency, you'd go into the safe, and they have a, a money order. You know, money for uh, uh, cashier's checks like this. For the, for, so you'd like, oh, I'm going on a f- trip. I don't want to carry cash. I'll carry cashier's checks. We used to rob them right from the well, travel agency. Was that before they needed an ID or anything to cash them? Yeah, I mean, yeah. It was the, or you found people to cash them for you. You know what I mean? There's always somebody on the other end to get this. Just like there is jewelers who will take hot jewelry. Yeah. You know, well, what do, you think, oh, do, do jewelers take hot jewelry? No, not a real one, not a normal one. But anyway, so that's very, very common. It's still around, but it's way down, as you can see. Most people are pretty hip to that, and they know what's going on with that. Okay, bogus debt. I love these. But I, listen, I have debt. We all have debt. I think everybody has debt. Do you have debt? Uh, yeah. We all have debt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. Listen, don't let it stress you out. Oh, yeah. Don't, really, I don't mean that to be funny. 
Don't let it stress you out. There's worse I things know, in life. I know there's people out there with way more debt than me. Yeah, and, you know, sure. listen, and they're not, living just fine. No matter who you are, this, again. Aren't all the rich people in debt? Well, yeah, on purpose. <laughs> it, it's called OPM, all other people's money. Yeah. So <laughs> ooh, that's what it's called. Uh, you use OPM, all other yeah. people's money, yeah. to do things. But what it is is they have these debt scams to scare you. You just worked hard to get your credit rating to a 700. Big deal. Anyway, they'd get that 700 credit rating, and now they're calling you saying, oh, this thing, you could clear it up for $50. You think it's small. They do no, this easy. credit easy. score is a good thing to have, too. Well, you know, it's ones. funny about credit score. I, I get pissed to, at I this. I wouldn't have had to pay uh, $6,000 to get into an apartment. Yeah, you wouldn't. But that one, you would have paid seven. No, and then that also, lady, also she to be get your set, water sent turned back on to, in Florida, it goes by credit score. I got it, and I disagree with that. I really do. But it, it, that's how it works. Because they're not regulated. They're not regular. Somebody can put a letter in on you, and, and they'll, they'll drop your score. Until oh, for sure. It. So it's wrong to do that. And that lady you had from where? China? Oh, I didn't like her. She, I wanted to kick her all the way back to China. I mean, one shot. Chill out. I'm not right. I didn't say anything. I was just telling you. She tried to play that, oh, I don't speak English crap. She did. No, 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 no. You Even her husband it. told me. She, she was like, it's a language barrier. And I was like, language no, barrier. Not. Yeah, that, that's like, what he says are, to her. When I was he like, got, you're see, white as hell. She he understands. Got, <laughs> he got caught cheating. <laughs> yeah, and he said, it was a language barrier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and now he's just out here saying, I'm like, no, it is not. Her son is white. You are white. There's no language barrier here. I'm sorry. No, there is not. And, and he I said, w- I'm going to put you under the jail. Oh, my gosh. It was really bad. Okay, now we got the home repair scams. Let me explain that one to you guys. Especially times of, you know, you got the family coming over. You're an elderly person, and you want to make sure that, the you know, something didn't work. Electric sockets, the last time the grandkids were there, the TVs in their guest room didn't work, and they wanted to put their PlayStation to it or whatever it is. Oh, and then they threw a fit. Uh, and you want to do the right thing for your family, so what do you do? You call, you know, repair people. Well, make sure you know who you're calling. I really think that's a great Great, and I mean this, a great business for somebody who's very uh, loyal, uh, respectful, does the right thing by people. You'll make a lot of money because you could do the right thing with people and and still make money and not scam them. Older people, you know, and it happens with auto mechanics. It happens with. Uh, well, they're all scammers. Well, no, I'm I, sorry. listen, I hate to put any bad label on any one job, but what I see, and I mean this, Nick, is what what really drives me nuts is. You know, people take advantage of elderly people. I just, I, I even me as an ex-criminal, I say ex, I don't take advantage of people. I don't care. If I'm going to rob you, I'm pointing a gun in your face. Uh, is that good or bad? It's better than the, the um, getting the old lady, you know. You know, some would uh, argue. I don't yeah, know. they would. And, they, and I'm not saying, <laughs> listen, no robbing is, is, is good, but I will tell you what I do. So that's very, very important. I feel like one is a little less traumatic than the other. And they can just, you guys can decide, but no, no. I actually <laughs> think the scam of the older people is worse traumatic than, than putting a gun to my face. But no, I know, that's I know people you. are gonna say it's different. Not you, because I did We're put guns to people's you. Ma- You're faces. You're insane. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Insane. A gun is a gun. You know. Uh, the next one. You're gonna love this. Employment scams and business opportunity scams. Now these go on all the time. They usually actually. Uh, uh, hurt high net worth people like especially business opportunity scams oh we got a great business for you and it's a scam employment scams are hurting the lower end of people so they they actually have a, a opportunity to hit both What's and an that employment employment scams are we we have this job for you if you come down here we can guarantee you a spot in the top 50 to be in the union you know it's a real scam and they, but if you if you pay $55 you can get in the top 5 and we're only taking 3 and you'll go online You'll look at that union job, and if union jobs pay great, and all of a sudden they'll say, we're going to take the first 300 people. Well, they're guaranteeing you the oh, top 300. Oh, they want your information. Well, and not only that, then they, and you pay to get in that, that list. There's oh, none of them ridiculous. that do that. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say. No, but, but people want that job, Nick. I, See, I would never pay for a job unless I was like well, listen, if you if, if you Listen, if you read about unions and what they pay and the benefits, and the, you but, know my brother. that. That doesn't. That's not real. But though. here's what happens. They'll open. Yeah, yes, what happens? Yes, they'll open a job. No, that's a scam. Though I said that's. that's we're but talking what I'm about saying scam. is, no jobs do that. No, they're not allowed to do that. Okay, especially a union. But people don't know that. See, what happens is a union job will put out a call for a jobs, and they'll say we're hiring 300 people 
come here, take this test, fill out this application, and the, and a thousand people will show up for the job. Oh, it's an application fee, you know, for a job. I was gonna say a rental application fee feels like a scam to you, me. You know what I'm saying, though. Yes, and, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. But they'll have so many people, and they're gonna guarantee it. Nobody's gonna guarantee you any. And the business opportunity is really for the high net worth people who want to take an opportunity. They say, "Oh, it's good for your grandkids' future," or something like Invest that. Invest in silver. Oh yeah, that's on Fox, <laughs> isn't it? That one. Oh, oh no, Donald no. Trump's <laughs> mugshot NFT he is selling. Oh, is that Trading true? Scar- yeah, I, I, listen to this. Pretty positive the, it's true, dude. Or, or I got an AI scam. <laughs> But I'm pretty positive it's true. Donald Trump has an N- NFT, but they, N- they crashed co- NFTs. It, it's YouTubers a, it's got a, it's killed. It's a trading on card or something. It's like you know those like the presidential gold and silver coins commercials. It's like formatted the exact same way. I don't know if I got joked. Do you know? <laughs> I don't know if it's joked. Did you know there was a scam about building the wall? Do you know uh, uh, his his first advisor? Wrong. His <laughs> his first advisor got indicted. Him and I think Paul Manafort for uh, having a scam donations to build the wall. Who's was taking the donations, <laughs> and they Million. were doing. They were doing. Trump was doing it. <laughs> Maybe in the back end, <laughs> they're like he, he. He was like he got. He really he, was getting funneled. Yeah, he no. He gets caught making the phone calls and tells everyone oh. it's AI. You ever see him when he did all that? What do you <laughs> the now he'll just be like it was AI. Oh yeah, it was well, not me. That's not me. Speaking of the me. election fraud. <laughs> Ooh. Speaking of the election fraud. Oh, we want <laughs> get back to that. Hey guys. Last <laughs> one that we're gonna get into that and we get to Swifty. The last one is the shopping spree scam. And the shopping spree scam is we will make you a shopper and you get go on a spree for X amount of dollars. And believe it or not, there are companies that do that. They have what they call uh, an uh, email from Mr. Beast. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Beast is getting is not gonna call you and say, Larry, you're a YouTuber. Give me here, and you're going to ha- be with Jimmy on a video. Not. <laughs> Unless his team calls you and you reval- He First of all, you know I, lo- I like Mr. Beast a lot. I think he's a great. I, I love his channel. I just love the hard work he does. I really do. Uh, and and, and I, can't, I can't not like it. So, all right, we're done with the scams in a way. Now, I want to pick on two subjects. PSA is over. No, it's not a PSA, man. It is. Nick, a public always, service announcement. But listen, I always tell people, listen. I say it I is. got this whole entire uh, YouTube channel and all of what I do really was founded on. I wasn't my, talking shit. It was but listen, a, you are it talking shit. Joke. Stop it. You're talking shit. No, I was not. Because I founded my YouTube channel on reading my book and giving the truth, and I'm always going to do that. Uh, I, I, I screwed up. Part of I screwed up was with the uh, cookbooks. Time coming. They're coming out now. Matter of fact, oh, sp- what did we oh, discuss about that? No, what did we discuss about that? It, huh? well, we, we're giving something oh, yeah, to yeah. all the people who were laid on that cookbook. You're getting a special gift. Trust I would me. say in the, uh, you know, in, no, I would say a week. You can't order it right now, and you get the special gift. No, you know that was cut off. No, 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 like, no, 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 no. That was up until a month ago. I think it was. Yeah, I would. But say so. and what I'm going to do is be putting something special in all those boxes. That's gonna be nice. I I, I got to do something, and it's just it's the right thing to do, and I'm doing it. So you're gonna be writing hand le- gift hand, hand yeah I am hand letters I am, but luckily the, there's only maybe a couple hundred that that I have to do like that. But uh, you know I I hand sign a lot of stuff. You know that as busy. well. The books. Yeah, yeah, I'm busy anyway. All right, the PSA is done. No no PSA. What are you doing, Nick? There's the, I Nick, was just looking at our Nick free, is, you I was talk at our free about spot Aiden, over there. You want to talk about Nick having, uh, what is it, attention deficit disorder? Oh, my God. I am focused. Laser. Nick, a uh, little squirrel walked by, and he just lost the whole thing. And Nick, I like uh, how you're projecting. What, Nick, what about that? I is like it, how you're it, projecting. The, the sound up? You don't even know. Look at you getting distracted. Uh, Look at him getting okay, distracted no. on what he was just saying. I did not get distracted. Yes, you did. Get, <laughs> <up>. <laughs> he, he, get a, the battery out of the wall. Get the battery out of the wall. There's a battery over there. <laughs> anyway, guys, we, we did two other things I think is pretty you cool. You can't send a text message, Larry, without going to seven different apps. Oh, uh, once he gets on my, if I get on one, boom, 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 boom. Anyway, let me go. We had two other things I want to touch on. Yesterday, we were, again, weather's been terrible. We watched a interview with Tucker Carlson and Donald Trump only a day or two what ago. What a great interview. When I tell you, <laughs> it was the funniest interview. And I'll tell you why. Tucker Carlson. Sober. 
It's this thing was oh, We were totally sober. We were sober. And and I, was so trying, I was holding on I to my I needed a drink. Seat. I was holding on to my seat during this. Interview. I needed a drink, and I'll tell you why. Listen, I don't care what political spectrum you're on. I, I really don't. I like a lot of policies of Trump's. Not him, but whatever, even that. You know, listen. Donald Trump did this interview for himself. Tucker Carlson. I totally he, lost he any inter- respect I had for that guy. Himself. <laughs> I really did lose any respect I have for Tucker Carlson. He did not ask. I don't think the guy said ten words through the whole so. hour. No. I heard him say famine when when uh, Donald Trump brought up uh, North Korea. He just goes famine. <laughs> this is what this is Donald Trump out of the blue, nothing going on. They're talking about a whole. He goes, as we were talking about the election fraud, I said, Nick, did you? We went back and rewinded. Nobody said a word about election he fraud. He keeps bringing things up he wants to talk about. Oh, I know. I mean. <laughs> oh, so you said. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny. And we really, you have to go watch He's it. He's like, oh, so you said Joe was sleepy, right? It's like, nobody Listen, said that. This is the truth. Go back on the YouTube. Like, like, like Shane Gillis will say, get your buddies, grab a six pack, <laughs> go to YouTube. And pull up the Tucker Carlson Donald Trump Throw on a, a Trump highlight, highlight uh, reel. Oh, this one's great. You have a great night. And y- y- I'm telling you, it was funny. Shane Gillis, man. Hey, listen. Shane Gillis, probably I, I'm t- I've become such a big fan. I can't wait to go see him. we got to go see him somewhere. And, yeah, when uh, he does a new show, for sure. I'm telling you, man. He's funny. He's great. Uh, he's taking cooler. political correctness and throwing it right in that, in that, in that river, right, like uh, that. the lake. I like that. And I love that. What would be even cooler is, you know, when... Up. This is the there deserted is. spot. You hear it? Here it is. It's deserted. It's the trains. It's every, I love it. I think it's every 20 minutes. <laughs> Leave me alone, Nick. <laughs> um, I told him we were I like deserted. Trains. I lived right next to a train track. Oh, we live so right next to a highway night. in the Bronx. So. Anyway, guys. So that interview, we had Nick and I rolling. Because everything. I watched Donald Trump on an interview about anything. And I don't. Something happened. And he goes, yeah, it was election fraud. It was totally not even in the realm of the hemisphere of an election fraud. Do you remember that time we go? I definitely want to rewatch it. That, I, that's a rewatchable. Interview. Oh my god! Like Fifty-seven minutes of Donald Trump interviewing himself. Oh, and, it was amazing. And this just came out, everybody. It just came out. Now that, and I'll tell you what. Again, guys, I am an old softy. I am an old softy. Here's my softy. I am a Swifty, and I'll tell you why. First of all, what Taylor Swift has done and her work ethic is off the charts. I don't care, you know, what you like, music, what Kanye West and Kim Kardashian did to her, and she came back and blew them away. Blew them away now. And she did it all in class. First of all, I think she's one of the most beautiful women on TV. She has got the body that I love. I always wondered, could a 33-year-old like that like a, like a 62-year-old? Can that happen? He was like, she's going to bring me out on stage. I said, I want to go. Kept, <laughs> you just kept just telling everyone your fantasies of Taylor Swift, <laughs> noticing you in the, in the crowd, bringing you up on stage. You guys would fall in love. And in fact, I wanted to go fight Kelsey. <laughs> no, who, who are you calling him? Kelso? Kelso, or whatever is that? <laughs> You know me with names, everybody. You, know that, you said you know that little t-ball player? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we looked at the numbers. Taylor Swift, in one concert, made more than the Kansas City Royals Chiefs <laughs> made in a year. <laughs> All of their salaries combined. Uh, anyway, because one question on the internet was, who makes more money? Taylor Swift or, or the football player, the tight end? I think Kelsey is his name. Kelsey, Kelsey, Kelsey. Not Kelsey, Kelsey. Kelsey. and Larry looked at each other and were like, what a dumb what? question. Are you kidding? Her... Butler makes more than Kelsey. <laughs> yeah, her truck drivers make more oh than Kelsey. God, they got killed. And no, listen, he got lucky. And did you know how he met her? He made a little friendship bracelet. <laughs> yeah, and he couldn't get to her. This is a Super Bowl tight end, made probably a Hall of Famer. A big old jock. And, and terrified he, and to wait, talk to Taylor Swift. He couldn't Swift. get to her. And he couldn't, like, go to her, you know. Terrified. You, he said I could have walked up to her because <laughs> he and was just scared, dude. No, and I know the security would have stopped him. That would have yeah. been the end. And she would have thought he was a wacko. You know, like she, I'm sure. Listen, Taylor Swift is a class. Cl- I watched yesterday, Nick and I did. I watched a three hour, uh, the so- SoFi Arena uh, concert uh, for her Eurostore. 
I'm listen. I'm not a big fan of all of that music. We didn't. We didn't watch all of it. No, most of it we did. We, pretty. We we got into it. That's for I sure. I was so it, amazed. You started. Cr- you were tearing up about how crazy it was. Not at the, oh, the no, show. No, no, I was. You were la- reading facts, and we were. I laughing was talking about so how much money. <laughs> <laughs> you know what she's going to earn on that $4.1 billion? If you, his, if, you guys, if you guys really want to see his full reaction to it, I was sitting there taking videos and pictures of him reading facts about Taylor Swift. And if you want to go see these At the um, Euros tour. amazing Euros tour. photos, I'll put one of them up on the screen right here. Okay. Amazing good. photos. I, took I didn't see them yet, but uh, that, was, that was just the other night. Let me tell I'll you live guys. Show you. I'll live show you. So you go to Instagram or Facebook. They're in the links below. And these pictures are uh, pretty, pretty good. I'll show you them. And, yeah, let me tell you why. First of all, she's got a beautiful voice. Oh, look at that. This one's good. Show, show that. that one. Show that. <laughs> I'll put it up on the screen. Oh, <laughs> look at these. And you know, these are genuine photos hey, of Nick, you. You can't put them up. I did. I asked your permission. And I said yes? Yeah. I think he's just playing that Larry's getting seen out card. But uh, I, I mean, showed you these last night. Let, let, I don't remember. Let me tell you what happened. <laughs> anyway, what happened, and I'm going to go here with uh, Nick. Uh, I, I'm telling you guys, I am so impressed. First of all, man, she's beautiful. I really mean it. She I, was looking good up there. Not only, she's got she the had bu- a couple backup dancers. Okay, if anybody wants to know what type of woman Larry likes, take Taylor Swift, the eye makeup, the works, the butt, the, the gap, the everything. Put that picture and put it aside and say, that's what Larry wants. He said, and then I want ma- that for Christmas. He said, and then make her behave. I want that for Christmas, and she cooks. <laughs> and make her behave. Cooks, and is great in bed. <laughs> Makes her That's behave. what I kept saying. Uh, it is really, and I don't mean that to be funny. Taylor Swift, I'm telling you, is one of the most impressive artists. Here's what she's done. She's become a billionaire without any of the gimmicks, without being a Nike contract, without having, uh, you know, what, what the, the, the headphones she's for the one guy. What, what was the guy Spotify. with the headphones? Uh, had the... the, the, the the pod headphones. She, oh, you know what that she, is? My she, notes. She threatened Spotify. <laughs> and then they got scared. <laughs> oh, yeah? And gave her what she wanted. In, in 2014? <laughs> yeah. Uh, this lady's changing the industry in a major way. And what I really am impressed with Taylor Swift, I think I said this on a one. I'm not going to go into it again too much. Uh, she really is very philanthropic, uh, meaning she gives a lot of money away. She cares. Listen. She didn't even do this at it. She gave fifty-five million dollars in 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 bonuses and you know bonuses to her people who work for her for this tour. Yes, the Iris tour made her a ton of money and all this. I'm not gonna go, but she's not like an ass. She gave each fifty truck drivers a hundred grand. Now they got paid well as it is. Oh yeah. And now a oh, hundred thousand dollar. You know that's life changing, man. And 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 I read so much about her about what she gives. And I, I listen. I ha, I don't have money, and I give. So I get, I love to give. I really do. There's something about giving that 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 I think. It's better than receiving. It really is. Don't get me wrong. I like receiving too. Anybody got a million dollars? No, <laughs> I, you know what? I, I really. It, you know how I am. You freak. You know what Nick says? I know what happened to that thing. I said, Nick, where's the drill? He goes, I know what you did. You gave it to somebody. Okay, oh, yeah. He, he, oh, you tools. give everything away, dude. If it's not at the house, I'm like, you probably gave it to somebody. Nick, did I give you stuff? Yeah, we talked about this on the la- uh, two episodes ago. I, I believe We'll list it off again. I, no, I'm not going to. I believe in giving, and especially, Beds, you know. couches. And, and yeah, here, here's yeah. the thing that happens when I do it. If somebody has it and I have it, and I don't think I'm going to use it for a little bit, I say, you know, maybe it could change somebody's life for a little bit. Even when I'm getting scammed myself again. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? So be it. You know, it's not. I just, I don't know what it is. I, 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 if I could do something little like that to change somebody's life, maybe, uh, I think you should. Taylor Swift to me, again as a Swifty, she was uh, again as a pro, uh, proclaimed Swifty, <laughs> uh, a professional Swifty now. Hey Nick, I was jamming out to Swifty playing zombies. As a wait kid. a minute, Nick, how about Swifty's costume changes? I could not understand. You kept them. pointing out. Look, Larry, new mic. Oh, yeah, she had, like, 27 mics, too. Yeah, but they were, I told her it only cost, like, 30 bucks a mic. But you have no, to they have... No, they probably uh, yeah, $500 did, a mic. I bet you they're all designer mics. Custom, oh. They're all custom handmade yeah, they, mics. you know, these kind. These are good. <laughs> they're, they're all bedazzled and jeweled oh, and oh, spray-painted I mean, correctly. Yeah. And right, there ain't no spray-painted. <laughs> that ain't a guy in the, you know, paint shop. Over the, but it just might be. Off. That's what I, I kept saying. I want to see the documentary for this production. 
Well, they did her last tour. This tour, the Eras tour, will pe- break every single record for selling tickets, money wise, numbers wise. She sold out SoFi Arena, not Arena, Stadium, six times in a row at what? Nearly 100,000 people in attendance. And she sold out. People came from all over the country. That was the end of her tour, the Eros tour. And that just happened. And unreal and she she didn't cash it in i said to man this kid's got some energy that's why i said oh, she had to have swallowed so much adderall no, during I these just kept saying, changes and i know i'm a every guy, change like a lot of there was there. an adderall i kept saying Bacon. what i kept saying, she must be something in bed i, I kept saying that because she's got a lot of energy well no then then, then i Nick bet goes, you she's, uh, no she's a dead fish i bet she's I just, a dead <laughs> fish after those shows like oh well, you, think, you know, she took... Or she's absolutely fucking insane, and she goes crazy No, at, what she did was... She, she ended up playing four slow songs. Nick goes, look, she's taking a break. She's laying down. <laughs> she's That's taking a break. break. That's her break. Listen, this tour was three hours, over three hours, and this girl did not cash it in, did not mail it in, they say. This gave her all... I, I'm telling unlike, you. Unlike the, the Sammy Hangar concert where they had a bathroom break. Oh, and the lights come on, and they were selling us credit I was, cards. I was like, I don't think the, they were selling us everything they could. You don't think Taylor Swift's giving breaks in the middle of the concert, do you? Yeah, your friends were like, it's just a bathroom break, Nick. <laughs> it's normal. We're a little older than Nick, so. like, And my I, friends go, did Nick ever go to a concert? I, d- I doubt Taylor Swift is having a bathroom break. Let's just say I was on some chemicals, and I had a great time Uh but we got into the debate about Nick and YMCA at his uh, school. That's another show. But any, <laughs> anyway, we had such a great time, and I mean that, uh, watching the swells. And we, I decided, I said, let's do this interview. Nick decided, let's do it outside. Let's go somewhere different. Uh, and it's the beautiful dark, out. These lights hit. Through. It's dark out. It's beautiful, though. Isn't this cool? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. You guys will let us know. Let me know in the comments what you think of that. If we didn't have to have this uh, podcast up. And no, we no, had no. A it's not about didn't. I love doing the podcast. No, I was about to say. And we had, like, a nicer uh, a cushion. I think we'd be here for, like, three hours. Oh. Just chatting, dude. Well, I'm going to do a video here for right, right now, too. If okay. You know, why not? Yeah. I'm here. But I, I'll tell you guys what. I, I'm so impressed with Taylor, I'm so impressed with what's going on with the, the industry. And I'll tell you what, what Taylor Swift has showed everybody, no matter who tries to kick you down, and that was Kanye West coming on stage, looked like an asshole, uh, and then people doing, you told me what Kim Kardashian did, it was terrible. Yeah, uh, she edited a phone call. I, I, that's terrible, man. I mean, I, I, listen. That, An illegal phone call. Listen, let me tell you something. That Taylor Swift, I've never and heard. And she ran away for a year and didn't talk to anybody. I've never heard anything bad about her. I really haven't. Uh, and, and uh you know, usually she's eventually a, she's a big drinker. No, I was song. talking about. I just didn't want to say the word. I don't. I, I hate bleeping now and getting demonetized. Nick, stop doing. The, don't talk. That might be my future wife. Well, I heard. I'm just kidding. That's I heard joke. Taylor. You Swift can date likes, around. I don't give a. I you don't think Taylor care. Swift like like guys care. like me. Oh, I think she loves guys like you. I think you got a big shot, buddy. How do should I should I go for it, guys? I think you should. I'll date her boyfriend oh. just to get to her. Also, <laughs> if we made it this far, guys, I have a few announcements myself. Yeah, go ahead. The starter packs are going crazy. You get four of each size cigar, and then you can pair it with the new lighter, the brand new lighter, the, the lighter. Can you oh. be my hand model for me, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The lighter. They're in. They're like going that. crazy. And you can also pair it yeah. with the spray. They're going out. They're in. They're actively going out. Those are in. And yes, I, in fact, I just picked up a uh, ton more cigars from the warehouse. What was I going to say? Oh, and if you made it this far and you're a pretty big fan, if you go to Lex Friedman's Instagram page oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and click the description and fill out a f- uh, application for Larry to have an interview with Lex. I love Lex. I Fred. think I li- we I, could I, get uh, very far with it. I like Lex. I'm, I'm putting one on. Nick put one on. Uh, Lex Friedman is so intelligent, man. I don't know how I'm going to pair with him, obviously. Uh, he pairs, though, and he takes his time to pair. He'll go like this. Well, uh, uh, he'll close his uh, eyes, and I'm going to think he went to sleep <laughs> on me. <laughs> no, no, Lex Friedman com- is... He's computing. S- you, know who I, you know who I also love is Elon Musk. Uh, yeah. 
I watch a lot of Elon Musk, and I just love uh, the way he could talk to me or he could talk to <laughs> Alex Friedman and the intellectual level. Matter of fact, him and Alex Friedman. His Nelk Boy interview, uh, Nelk Boy's interview on, on Full Sand podcast yeah. was one of the best I've heard. I mean, he yeah. really opened and up. And then you watch. He was supposed to be there for 30 minutes. He was there cool. for three yeah. hours. And then when you watch that interview back to back with the Lex Friedman interview, they're two different interviews. Oh, that's what I'm he saying. He doesn't have to. He doesn't have to slow down. No, he and can talk like, crazy with Lex. Lex Friedman is one of the smartest. You know, if you don't know who Lex Friedman is, please go Google him. Lex Friedman has a podcast. He's an MIT a robotics uh, professor or whatever it is, and genius, AI. Ju- genius, just a AI genius. Guy, He's yeah. really a genius guy. And he seems like a nice guy, too. You know what I mean? He really he does. He does jujitsu, hardcore. Yeah, I, mean, I used to do jujitsu. I'm just saying, he looks like no, a no. robot. It's a, you know? Listen. Uh, That's like when you're like, hey, Mark Zuckerberg does jujitsu. It's like, oh. He, Mark Zuckerberg that, has got that $100 nerd. billion. Dollars. He can do anything he wants. Literally. Yeah. I know. You know, we talked about security, about how much security Elon oh Musk had. Oh, my God. I didn't. Hey, we did this. Nick goes, I think Elon Musk walks around alone. I said, Nick. He's the richest man hiding. in the I world. Said they're hiding. <laughs> He's the world. They're hiding. He has security when he goes to the bathroom at his oh, headquarters. Mandatory. Yeah, mandatory. at his headquarters. That's crazy. So, uh, yeah, you're talking about hours. a different animal, of course. Uh, if he but wants again, McDonald's. seems very nice. I mean, yes, you know is. Warren Buffett, who he is, right? Yeah. Warren Buffett's the investor with Berkshire the old Hathaway. Man. Older man. Did you know he still goes and gets a senior coffee? Yeah. In the, <laughs> Does he have at the security? McDonald's? You think he has security? Well, I know he does. He has multiple. You know, they all have, like you know why they, you know, people, you know, for a long time, Bill Gates was the richest man. His numbers are off the charts. He was the richest man in the world for so many years, they, they forgot even doing the list. When he was that rich, before really, you know, security issues and came up, he used to fly on a, on a regular plane. And sometimes not in first class. This is the richest guy at the time, the richest guy in the world. Of course, now he has to have private planes and stuff. And the reason he has that private is because of security. Epstein no, it's because. Island. You know, you had to go there. It had to be. Listen, he went there because <laughs> of security. All right. With that said, everybody, uh, you're hearing this tomorrow. You should. Listen, apologies again. The Ned Luke interview going up soon. Really good. Great guy. I had a lot of fun with him. Hey, listen, I'm going to be doing a couple more podcasts. We got one Monday coming out. We got another Friday. But. If you don't catch our podcast, I want to wish everybody a happy holidays. Uh, please comment, subscribe, pass this on. We're trying to build something. I want to make 2024 the best year in, uh, uh, of my company's life, our lives. Uh, I, I think we got the team ready, uh, young guys, people, Sam, everybody, Mike. Uh, listen, we're growing, and I don't quit, and that's the key. So uh, I, I really want to say that. And Nick? Let's get her out. Keep up the good work. Let's rock. Thanks, pal. Hey, everybody. Please stay safe. Make good choices. This is The Real Deal with Larry Lawton.